Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video. So we just got the Riven reveal. Um, finishing up here with the last champion during this expansion with Riven. We'll probably get a couple more cards tomorrow and kind of surprisingly we don't get a whole lot of cards with Riven today. It just looks like three new cards. Riven herself and then we've already seen Weapon Hilt. And we got two other spells here on the far right that we're going to go over. But Riven, um, I was guessing she was going to be a four mana card. Um, but she's three mana. I was kind of leaning more towards four just because they, there's already Katarina and Draven coming out at three. So we've got three champions from Noxus, unless I'm forgetting one, that are three mana. Um, which does kind of, you know, it occupies the same space. So it's hard to kind of include those into decks. Not that you necessarily would. I mean, Katarina might have a little bit of synergy with Riven, but... Um, and it looks like, like uh, Draven might as well with this survival skills, so... Um, anyway, yeah, just kind of awkward to have multiple champions and multiple cards at three mana. It doesn't matter so much early on in the game, um, just because during the late game we're going to be able to play multiple three mana cards anyway. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and look at our Riven. When you gain the attack token, you reforge. So every time, so you you remember yesterday there's three reforge cards um, that are available to Riven. And um, I see Blade of Exile in your hand, so is her level up condition. So in order to, to forge the Blade of Exile, you have to reforge three times, and you'll get three different um, of these blades. All right, so you get, every time you reforge, you get um, a random blade fragment in hand, one that you haven't created before, um, so that, you know, you're if you reforge three times, you're going to fulfill all the requirements to forge the Blade of the Exile. Now, in order to forge this Blade of the Exile, you have to have played all these spells as well. All right, and then for Riven to level up, she just needs to see it in your hand. So that's kind of, like, that's kind of cool because it's not, like, you don't have to play it, right, until you draw Riven. Um, like, if you haven't drawn her before, if you've got all your reforged cards, if you've got, if you've got Blade of the Exile, and then you can just, you know, keep that in your hand until you, you have uh, Riven play here and she should level up automatically, which is kind of a cool interaction. And uh, yeah, it makes it a little bit more in your control uh, when you level up Riven. All right, and you're going to be getting these attack, these um, little blades, blade fragments each round, which is cool as well. So once Riven's out, it's pretty easy. So every other round you're going to get one. So it's not too hard of a level up condition, and then if you include all of her followers as well, it's going to be pretty easy to level her up. So um, when you gain the attack token reforge upon leveling up, so same thing, when my power is increased for the first time each round, increase it twice as much. Interesting. Now this probably combos with grants as well, so we could use... It's kind of interesting. When my power is increased for the first time each round, increase it by twice as much. So this actually has a little bit of synergy with, with Tarek, which is kind of cool. That's kind of the first thing that comes to mind, is that we could use these cards on Tarek and get kind of like triple value out of the buffing cards. Well, the attack buffing cards anyway. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, a synergy between Tarek and Riven. Um, let's see, you really make the most use out of these cards when, like, these attack, very, the th attack dependent cards when you have things like Overwhelm, so it's going to be necessary to, like, every time to use Blade of, of the Exile on, on Riven just so that she can get extra Overwhelm and Quick Attack. It is granting plus two, so actually plus four, which is a pretty hefty, um, buff for a unit with Overwhelm. Now just imagine doing that to Tarek as well, and we kind of, we get Overwhelm, tough, and Riven gets double attack from the Overwhelm, which is pretty cool, and quick attack, so, um, yeah, I like that combination right there, I would be kind of interested to, to see those two work together. Um, of course, there's natural synergy between her, Victor, and Zoe, just because we're creating a lot of cards, and the ability to level up all those champions is pretty high. When you play them together, um, yeah, and I'm sure you could get other other things to work as well. Like I said, Katarina might even be able to work a little bit once we get you know leveled up. Katarina, we can we can 
rally each round. She's got quick attack and overwhelm with, with Blade of the Exile, and she's going to be able to do quite a bit of damage and take out units without taking damage herself, so quite a bit of pressure. All right, um, Riven's Weapon Hilt. Give an ally plus two plus zero this round and reforge. This makes a little bit more sense um, for, I guess, Riven's. I, I don't, I think the card itself is kind of underwhelming just because it doesn't have the the health buffs um, for, for our units. It's kind of a drawback to that. Uh, it makes Riven a very offensive tool and not very defensive. Um, kind of easy to take her out since we won't a lot of these cards we have to include in the deck They take up a slot just so that we can reliably level up Riven. So um, Yeah, just kind of pairing her in this sort of Like just attack heavy deck might be kind of not very good Because it's going to be hard to protect her but looking over here at sharp and resolve we do have a health buff This is a three cost card. So um, sharp Sight, for example, is a 2 cost that gives plus 2 plus 2. Sharpened Resolve is a 3 cost card that gives plus 3 plus 2, and also no additional like buffs. So Sharp Sight, you can block elusives. Um, so this card is a little bit weaker. Uh, I think there's a reason for that, just because she's, she's producing so many attack buffs. Um, they don't want to have too many combat tricks for Riven. In the deck, I guess, but this is quite a bit weaker than than something like Sharp Sight, where we're only getting one additional attack and no additional ability. Um, it's okay though, not too bad for a burst speed spell. We can get some pretty good value out of it, and then in for context as well with something like uh, Fury of the North. That's a three four for four mana. The additional health is definitely worth a lot more than the additional attack. So just to kind of compare it to another card that's in kind of like the same realm. All right, um, let's look at this five cost card, Survival Skills. Allies can't drop below one health this round. When discarded, your strongest ally can't drop below one health this round. So this could be used both defensively and offensively. Now this is going to be a much better card to use on your offensive turn just because if you, it's a slow speed spell. Just by, by virtue of it being a slow speed spell, this is going to be better for offensive rounds. The reason for that is if you use this on your defensive turn, you do get value out of it still. Your opponent just most likely isn't going to attack into you and you're not going to be able to clear the board if that's kind of your goal. On your offensive turn, you're going to get value, so either you're going to hit the Nexus and deal damage, or you're going to take out their units because they're going to be forced to block. And then your own units aren't going to be, you know, killed as well. This is subject to Hush still, Hushes, um, and we got another one introduced in Targon. It's like Moonlight Blindness, or I can't remember, but um, Hushes. Um, still subject to hush as we saw in the little trailer if you haven't seen that for Riven you can go watch that she is paired with Nox Cryo Arena that makes a little bit more sense with survival skills where we can use that to take out units uh, five cost slow speed spell it's a pretty powerful effect um, you may include this in the deck it's kind of hard for me to say right now this could be a really good card or it could be kind of underwhelming um, it just kind of depends yeah. Maybe I would kind of err on the side of a little bit more underwhelming unless you're going to pair this with something that's going to allow you to buff health just because it's going to be easy for the enemy to react um, to this slow speed spell and use spells of their own to take your units out before this slow speed spell follows through. So if you're able to buff up the health of your units, then that could possibly be a better way to, to uh, a way to include this card in the deck and actually get value out of it. Um, all right, so yeah, that's about it. We don't get any additional units with Riven. We're going to see if we get any more tomorrow. There might be a couple more from Noxus. Really, this entire set, there hasn't been a whole lot of cards given to Noxus. Um, but yeah, I mean, we might end up seeing a couple more. She did get, I guess, the, the, the Hunters as well. Um, as the cards yesterday. A lot of spells, though. There's a lot of spells. Um, included in Ribbon's kit, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks.